So, hey folks, if you've seen my video that I made where I added the HEPA filter to the Bamboo Lab printer, well, I made a boneheaded mistake. Oh yeah, you did. That I'm not proud of. I made an ass assumption that the paper was the same on both sides. And so the direction didn't matter to me. But a few people asked me and challenged me on it to the point where I had to open it up and check it out. And so I, I took the filter apart and I cut out a little piece. And sure enough, the paper is not the same on both sides. So this paper, they actually, they do a folding pattern. So it looks identical on both sides. It's just that the material is not the same. So I'm going to show you a quick fix for this that will allow you to still use the model that I designed and printed so it's not wasted so that you won't have to reprint. And I don't love this, but it is an easy way to salvage the hardware. I will also show you it works effectively at being able to evacuate the chamber. And I'm gonna share a demonstration of that that'll be very, very visual. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you that if you look at the filter here, you're going to just take your fingers on the opposite side and you're gonna press gently and you're going to push the filter out don't push it out all the way you'll find one glue spot that you'll have to actually wiggle it free to break it free but then you're going to pull it out and you're going to push the carbon portion of it back in because if you pull that out all the way you're going to end up with carbon falling all over the floor once you've got it pulled out then you just simply take the filter you turn it around and you put it back in and I know that there's been people that have been concerned about uh, the evacuation of the chamber and that this is creating too much resistance. Well, most of my models are evacuating the chamber. They're using 60 to 70% of the fan during printing. And I have tested this thoroughly. I will continue to test with this. Uh, and I will show you those results. And if you have a look at this video right here, you're going to see that I've used... What are those things called? Um, incense sticks. I've used incense sticks to fill the chamber with smoke. And then I've tested the evacuation of that chamber at various speeds. At typical printing speeds of 60%, it will evacuate the chamber. I mean, have a look at this video. I'll be keeping an eye on mine, and I am still convinced that at least this HEPA filter is better than the one that comes with the system. Is this 100% effective? Likely not. The best thing that you can do is evacuate the air to the outside, but I can't easily do that here, so I figure this is an improvement. If you decide to try this, keep an eye on it. You're doing it at your own risk. I'll be watching mine and checking it every single print that I make. I have a Deadpool mask to do. And here's the link to the original video if you haven't seen it. 